Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and today we're going to talk about the juxtaposition profile for one in human design. It's an interesting profile and it's very rare. So let's get started and find out more about what it means to have a 4 1 profile. The profiles are made up of six different lines, and there's 12 different combinations of the profiles. That means that everyone has one of these profiles, and it's based on the date and time of birth. The profiles change in the day, so somebody who was born on the same day as you may not necessarily have the same profile as you because the time of birth is different from yours. The profiles are always calculated for every body graph, so it's not something you have to worry about figuring out for yourself. The profiles talk about our character and also how we operate in the world and give one more dimension on the information the body graph can give. I've already done videos on how the profile lines act alone, and today we're going to see how they act together. And if you want more information, you can check out the videos I've already done. The profile lines come from the conscious and unconscious sun in the body graph. The first number is always going to be the conscious sun, and the second will be the unconscious sun. So when we talk about the profiles, people might feel they connect more with the first number than they do with the second, depending on their age. Because after the age of 40, more people will become aware of their second number, also called their unconscious number. But just because someone's not aware of it doesn't mean it doesn't exist in their personality and character. Ultimately, both profile lines are equally important. So what does it mean to have a 401 profile and how does it affect your character? The 401 profile is the only one of its kind and it's called a juxtaposition profile. Someone who carries a juxtaposition profile usually has one theme in their life and a particular way of doing it based on their heart's desire. So somebody who carries this profile can have a very fixed fate and the foundations and structures that they construct in their life are based on their unique destiny. The profile for one is made up of the line four, the opportunist, and also the line one, the investigator. When somebody carries a fourth line in their profile, this is somebody who likes to have a big social network, where most of their opportunities come from their social network and the people that they know. And when it's combined with the energy of the first line, you have somebody with a double foundational profile. And because of this, this person makes decisions and moves very slowly in their life. Because first they need to build up a friendship or a social network and then get their opportunity. And once they have their opportunity, they're going to investigate that opportunity. And only after they have a foundation based on the data that they've discovered will they move into that opportunity. The juxtaposition profile is a very rare profile and it's not considered transpersonal or interpersonal. And the theory is that somebody with a 4-1 profile has a fated destiny and the destiny that they're fated to have is a relationship to their conscious son. And just like all people who have the fourth line in their profile, these are people that don't like to be criticized. And this is especially true for somebody with a 4-1 profile because it is such a fixed energy and they do have such a destined fate. People with this destined fate who have the 4-1 profile need to have control of how they live their life. Because if somebody with a 4-1 profile is diverted from their fate, they can have their life fall apart as they search for their life purpose again. And like all fourth lines, they get their opportunities from their network. They also want a new opportunity before they leave the one they're in. And that can carry over to relationships as well. This need for new opportunities to be available before they change means that somebody with a 4-1 profile makes changes very slowly. They need to be loved for who they are and never to be pushed into making changes in their life. They need to go at the beat of their own drum. Friends before romance is usually the best way for the fourth line energy. And because this energy is double foundational, usually the friends that they make are friends that they have for life, unless something unusual happens where they can't be friends anymore. People who carry this profile are considered foundational anchors in their community. And somebody who would embody this as a character on a TV show would be Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. People who carry this energy like to investigate everything they do before they actually go and do something. So for instance, if they wanted to change a restaurant, they'd need to find out all the information about that restaurant before they would ever go to have a meal there because routines and stability are extremely important to them. What some people may consider rigidity in a personality is really the foundation that the people that are in the group of somebody who carries a 401 energy know and rely on about this person. So it's really a stability that your friends can count on their predictability in any relationship that they have. 
And usually the only time that they're going to have problems with their network is if their network or people are trying to change them or push them into things that they really haven't investigated yet because that's really important to them so that they have a foundation before they do anything in their life. And if people can accept them for who they are fully, then somebody who carries a 4-1 profile can fully embody their fate and move forward and live their life purpose. Since all types can carry the 401 profile, how does it feel for each human design type that carries a 401 profile? When a manifester carries a 401 profile, this is somebody who can make their own opportunities and they will make their opportunities in their network of friends or social network. Having this profile is probably one of the only things that can actually slow a manifester down because after they create the opportunity, they need to investigate it to see if it's right for them. And if it isn't right, they won't do it, but if it is, they will do it. And after they do that, the most important thing for a manifester who's a 401 profile is to inform their network exactly what's happening and what they'll be doing. And that way everybody knows exactly what everybody's doing and they're all on the same page. When a projector carries a 401 profile, this is a person who is a conscious networker. Because the line four is all about making connections and getting opportunities from their network of people that they know, sometimes a projector may not wait for an invitation and they may sometimes decide to make their own invitations and when they're pushing for opportunities and invitations and they haven't actually received it. People may not like this and they may not want to work with their projector because of this. So what's really important is somebody who has the 401 energy, a projector has a 401 energy, is to wait for recognition or an invitation into the network for the opportunity and then they can investigate it and decide if that invitation is right for them or not. When a generator type carries a 401 energy, this is somebody who's a conscious networker just like anybody else who carries a 401 energy. And because of this, all their opportunities come from their social network. But since generator types can sometimes feel like they're manifestors and try and manifest opportunities, it's really important for a generator type to wait for something to respond to instead of trying to go out and create their own opportunities. And once they have an opportunity that they can respond to, then they can investigate it to see if it works for them. And if it does, they can accept it. And if not, they don't have to. When a reflector carries the energy of the 4-1 profile, this is a person who is, who is really connected to their community because a reflector type already is connected to their community. And then when you have a fourth line and it's a very fixed energy, a 4-1 profile, this is a reflector who has a deep connection with their community and all their opportunities come from this community. So after their social network or their community offers them an opportunity, then they can investigate the opportunity while they feel their way through their moon cycle. Knowing your profile is just a small part of the information that the body graph can give you. But I'm going to stop here for now and let you digest what I've talked about. Please feel free to check out my other videos where you can learn more about human design and the body graph and all about you. Because when we truly know who we are, life just gets easier.